So while a deficit commission tries to boost support for its plan, the clock is ticking on the biggest tax hike in history. Democrat Steny Hoyer said the House plans to vote tomorrow on extending tax cuts for the middle class. But what about everyone else that doesn't make that cut, like small business owners? Joining us now is Representative Jim Jordan from Ohio of the House Budget Committee. Representative, a lot of breaking news all day today. Deficit Commission, yeah. Bush tax cut meetings. You're on the all-important Budget Committee. How will the outcome of all these meetings affect the federal budget? Will it have any effect at all, sir? Well, the, the impact is it will have huge effect. If we don't extend all the tax cuts, we're going to have a detrimental effect on job creation because these tax increases will hit small business owners. You know, Eric, America is supposed to be the country where poor people have the opportunity to, to become rich, to, to improve their lot in life. You can't do that if you're taxing the very people who are going to provide the jobs so they can improve their position in life. That's what's wrong with this idea of playing the class game that the Democrats want to do. Frankly, if Steny Hoyer brings the vote up and it's just on the middle class, extending it for the middle class, we should demand, our leadership should demand, let's have a vote on extending them for all Americans. After all, there was an election four weeks ago where the American people spoke pretty loudly, pretty clearly right. and said, get after the spending, that's the real problem, and don't raise taxes on one single right, American. Right, Congressman, that's I'm, what we I'm should guessing, be all about. I'm guessing that's the way it's going to go down. I get that, and it's going to go to the commission that's meeting right now with Tim Geithner, you know, yeah. the, two, the two from the left and the two from the right talking about the Bush tax cuts, how they're going to compromise. But here's my question. I have a deficit commission talking, breaking news right. all day about how they're going to decrease the deficit. They're going to increase taxes. They're going to change the tax structure for loopholes, for estate tax, for dividends, for capital gains. Sounds like taxes are going up from their perspective or should go up from their perspective. How do you just, how do you meld that with a group trying to keep taxes lower uh, meeting with Geithner, the Treasury Secretary? Well, I think you go back and you just you, get, you put the plan together, and we did that. We've introduced the only balanced budget in Congress, and our budget keeps in place the 0103 tax cuts. We deal with the alternative minimum tax, but we do something that every American knows needs to be done. We cut spending, and we go back to pre-bailout, pre-stimulus levels, before all the ridiculous spending took place around here, and we say, let's hold that. After all, Eric, a lot of families have had to do that. A lot of small business owners have had to do that. But for some reason, the federal government can just never get around to do that. And this idea that, oh, we'll just raise taxes and it'll only go to deficit reduction and to helping starting us to pay down the debt that's been promised time and time again right. whenever politicians raise taxes it always ends up in the long run going for new spending and more importantly when they raise taxes it hurts the very job creators who are going to give us the growth so we can well, ultimately and, and deal with the deficit and deficit word, sir. I'm very glad you use that word because a lot of people say well if you don't raise taxes and you're running a deficit and you're adding to the national debt year after year how do you not do that? How do you not raise taxes and close that gap? And you're going to talk about what? Growth? We're going to grow into, um, I guess, reducing the deficit? Is that what you, you're, you're planning on? Eric, you can, when you look at the numbers we're facing, you have to get after the spending, which we have in our balanced budget plan. But more importantly, you've got to have economic growth. Everyone understands, the American people understand, you cannot have economic growth if you're going to tax small business owners, which is exactly what Steny Hoyer's plan, that he's going to bring in front of the Congress tomorrow, which is exactly what his plan will do. You've got to have economic growth in the long run to deal with the numbers well, we're well, talking about. What number are you using, sir? I just have to ask you this because I have people on the left, I have uh, Democrats on all the time telling me, uh, don't worry, it's not going to increase the deficit. And then they say, well, the economy is going to grow by three or four or five or six percent going forward. And that's just not what's happening right now. We're lucky to get a one or two percent growth. What number are you looking at? Oh, we need much stronger growth than that. But the reason we're having such dismal growth is because business owners are scared. They see that in 30 days, if Congress doesn't do something, in 30 days, their tax burden's going up. They see this Obamacare still hanging over their heads. So they're scared to do the things they would normally do to get our economy moving in the right direction. So until we can give that certainty, right. we're not going to raise your taxes. We're going to extend them. We're not going to have this Obamacare imposed on you and your business. So you can, you can grow your business and create the jobs we need to get that growth. So we've got to have a lot higher growth than we're having now. Everyone, I think, understands that. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to say thank you to the Congressman. Appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.